brands that we love and uh, sometimes a pretty much all the time a grudge purchase for most vehicle owners except for four-wheel drivers I don't think it's so much of a grudge purchase when we tend to uh, get something new on our four-wheel drive or have to replace a product that's worn out or we tend to stick to the brands that we, we kind of love and that we've kind of grown up with and, and been used to and it's very hard for us to change a lot of the time. I'm just about to replace these 37s on the F250. I've been a BF Goodrich fan for a, a long time and there's probably a good 80% of my vehicles have always had BF Goodrich tyres on them and I've kind of tend to, tend to stick with them because I've tried different brands and they're just the wear rate, the way they wear, how heavy they are. They've kind of always pushed me back to go back to BFs and for the past kind of five years it's all I've really ran on my vehicles. And with good reason, I've never had to take a tyre off because it was going flat. Yes, I've gotten punches, every tyre is going to get a puncher, but the BF Goodrich, I just whack a plug in it, keep going. I've never had any gnarly sidewall damage or anything like that, I've never had a blowout, never had one come off the bead, but again, it all, it all comes down to your experience and tyre pressures and knowing what you should and shouldn't do with a tyre. So these 37s that I've got on the F250 now, they're, they're just about worn out. Um, and when I say worn out, they've probably got 25, 30% left in their life. But with any sort of mud terrain tyre, especially when you're overlanding, forward driving and all that sort of stuff, once you get past about 50 to 70%, all your traction's pretty much gone. As you can see just here, They're not far off being completely worn. This tread block here is down to the indicator. So if you guys wonder what these little ridges are on the inside of your tire, these are pretty much wear indicators. So once this gets parallel with this, level with this one, it's pretty much all over from there. And you'll, uh, you'll probably end up getting defected if you were to leave those tires on there. So, if, you, if I move to the other side of the tyre, you can see they're not, it's not too bad. And the centre blocks still do have probably close to maybe a centimetre, a bit less than a centimetre of actual tread in the top. But that wear indicator there is pretty much telling me I need a new set of tyres, so... But this is the condition of these tyres after about 60,000 k's. This is on the front tyre. This is probably the best one that I have, the best condition tyre that I have right now. So I do have a few splits and stuff like that, but no leaks. But as you can see, there's, there's, uh, I'm going to have barely any traction there if they were to fill up with mud. So we're down here at uh, TJM Hunter Valley, getting the tyres fitted up. The boys are just ripping off the old ones right now, putting these new KM3s on, and uh, hopefully they're going to fit. So another 12 and a half, so we're close. About 13 and a half, so they they may just touch. So we'll just have to see once the first one goes on, and take a look at it. 
going to be interesting going now to a uh, 13 and a half wide instead of the 12 and a half. There's definitely a uh, noticeable difference in the width. So we'll have to see if they clear and if they're going to fit on the truck. So fingers crossed. So guys, there is a significant lug design difference to these new KM3s over the uh, KM2s that I'm now taking off the truck. And these sidewall lugs are a lot, a lot bigger and just a completely different design to what the old ones were. So I'm, uh, I'm very interested to see how these things are going to go versus what the old ones were. Now fast forwarding one week later since I've had the tyres fitted. The 12 and a half that I had before, great tyres, fantastic. That's kind of why I've stuck with BF again and now gone to the KM3, really keen to test these tyres out. So the 37, 13 and a half by 20 is the biggest tyre that BF offer, well that's on their website that I could find, is the biggest tyre that they import into Australia, I think aside from their race race stuff that for off-road racing. So super keen to see the biggest tyre that BF bring in. Let's go check it out. All right, well, I've given the truck a bit of a bath. It hasn't had a clean for probably about three weeks, so I've been uh, neglecting it a bit, but last week I didn't feel too well, so I've uh, perked back up again and um, got her all nice and shiny, so let's check these tires out, guys. So they're definitely a lot thicker sidewall, and the beef, I'll just bring this around here, just hanging out just there it's just giving me that little bit more reassurance against rocks and things like that up against the side of the rim so I've got that bit more protection now um, but yeah as you can see here there's no um no marks or anything where the tire has been scraping so far so all good we're, we're clearing but yeah guys, I'm keen to see how these tyres go. I'll give you another update later, probably in a, a few months time after we do some trips and stuff and see how they're going. But I definitely think these tyres suit the truck a lot more than the skinnier 12 and a halfs. I think that bit of a bit of a beefier look looks really cool. So Alright guys, KM3s, they're on the truck now, so Hopefully we get to uh, do some trips here in the next kind of few weeks. Get to uh, go and test these bad boys out on some trails and stuff like that. And, and I'll let you guys know how they go. Like I said before, we've got a massive gravel driveway that we drive every single day in the truck. So I'll give you an update in a few months, let you know how the tyres are going. But definitely a step up from the KM2s. I think they're very smooth on road so far from the week that I've, I've had them. Extremely smooth on the highway and stuff like that and very quiet. So I'm very impressed. The biggest tyre that BF bring into Australia is super quiet. So I'm stoked on that. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Like, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. Hit that little bell so you know when I post another video. Oh, I nearly forgot. We just hit 1,000 subscribers. You guys rock. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the awesome comments. And just, if you guys want me to do a video on something specific or something about the F-Truck, just let me know. And I'll um, I'll try and do my best to, uh, to uh, get it up for you guys. So there's a bunch of different reviews I've got to do on different gear that I've recently bought. And um, yeah, I am getting all your messages. I'm getting all your comments. So stay tuned to the channel doing as much as I can I've got a lot going on right now with work and stuff like that but um yeah awesome guys 1,000 subscribers and I'm pretty stoked and um yeah hope you guys are enjoying the content so anyway I'll catch you in the next video see you